All right, so before we launch the Metasploit tool, what we need to do is we need to type service and type post GRE SQL and start. So this just starts the database to store all of the um, Metasploit exploits and that way everything runs a little bit faster. And now to in order to actually start it, type MSF console. So hit enter from here and what this does is it launches the command line version of Metasploit. So it loads up do to do and boom, look at that. Pretty much says welcome to Metasploit and you're going to get a new little banner or whatever this little icon is each time. And if you want to get rid of it, just like regular Linux, you can type clear and boom, look at that. So now you can tell by the MSF we are in Metasploit right now. Now, if you ever need help with anything, if you just type question mark and hit enter, then it's going to pull up the help menu. So again, that's question mark, and then you can scroll in and look through all of the commands, and you see, okay, the question mark, that's what we just did. Back, this moves back, and you're going to be seeing whenever we start looking at some exploits, what that does. The command banner shows you a cool banner, so on and so forth. So all of the different commands you can use in the little description of each. And just to test out one of those, if we type banner and hit enter, then we see that it just gives us a new banner. Let's type it again. Boom. Boom. Oops. Hit something wrong there. Boom. Look at that. So simple enough. We type a command. It does that thing. Now, another thing that you can do is you can type show. Actually, let me clear out of this get some junk off the screen to show exploits so an exploit like I was saying this is just one of the things that you can do um, some pieces of software call them tools and Metasploit they're just called exploits so again you can write your own but Metasploit already comes with a bunch built in now there are a lot of them so that's why whenever you write show exploits it's gonna take a little bit of time to load uh, you know all of them and also later on I'm going to be showing you guys how to filter some of these so let me just so you guys can see a little bit better alright hold on trying to make it so I, I bumped up my text so you guys could see it a little bit better on YouTube but uh, since you know it's kinda of weird right now but if you just scroll through these then you're gonna start being able to see all of these exploits uh, you know there are different ones for databases and like FTP and their exploits for Windows but there's a lot to go through so I'm too lazy to just read through all of those and find whatever exploit I'm looking for so say that I just wanna find an exploit related to MySQL I have a MySQL database and I wanna you know make sure there aren't any issues with it so what you can do is you can just write search my SQL or whatever keyword you're looking for. Now hit enter and instead of having to read through all of those exploits, this just gives you in the results all of the exploits related to my SQL. So on the left it gives you the name of it and on the right it gives you a little description. So let me scroll down and let me find one. All right, so this one looks pretty good right here. Right click and copy. So this says auxiliary scanner MySQL MySQL login, and I can see that it's a MySQL login utility. So it sounds like this could be, you know, a tool used to find some issues with the login of MySQL. So once you have that copied, if you ever want to get a little more information about it other than, you know, that short little description on the right, you can just type info and paste in the name of the exploit and hit enter. So now we can see, okay, um, it gives you a bunch of information about the tool. Uh, there you go, there you go, provided by, and this is whoever made it. And now here's a little more detailed description. So this module queries a MySQL instance for a specific username and password. So all right, we can use this to test, of course, like it said, a MySQL instance. Now. In order to actually use it then what we need to do is we need to type the keyword use and then the name of the exploit so again what people typically do is they write search for whatever they're searching for FTP MySQL whatever 
they go through the exploits and read whatever one they want they get some info about it and if it looks like something they want to use then type use then the name of the exploit and hit enter so now we can see what's going on is it put us into this exploit so we are now using the mysql login uh, tool or exploit whatever you want to call it and I'm going to be showing you guys in details how to use these tools later on I just want to give you guys a quick overview right now but the thing is if you ever want to get back to where you were like you're like okay actually I uh, I made sure before that my database was good so I not really worried about this all you do is you type the keyword back and it'll put you back into the normal Metasploit command line so that's how you find exploits that's how you get more information about them that's how you use them and let me clear out of here and in the next video I'm gonna be showing you guys um, some other cool things that you can do